Kelly here today to unbox something very exciting. I have said it once before and I will probably say it many times again, but PlayStation's press kits are really something special and it's something that I love to unbox on this channel. Ta -da! They always put so much effort into these things and whenever I get my hands on one, I'm first and foremost so excited and secondly just so in appreciation of the amount of work and effort that goes into creating these. So first up, let's start with the, the exterior of the press kit, which this time is a backpack. It's pretty amazing to be honest. It's a, it's a pretty great quality backpack for starters. Like it's, it's an awesome backpack that I would definitely take like hiking or around the city and it's got a laptop spot in the back. It's kind of like got a padded back piece here. It's obviously screen printed on the front with uh, Marvel Spider-Man PS4. In case you didn't know, this is the game that's coming out on September 7th. It's looking amazing. There's this really cute keyring on the outside too. It's like one of those spinny ones, the spider and the Spider-Man logo on it. Very cute. And there's also a carabiner on the front here. I assume so you can hang things from it. That was a weak Spider-Man pun. I tried. Now, there's many pockets. I don't know what's inside what pocket, but we'll find out together. I'm gonna open in this uh, little one at the top. Nothing in the little one at the top, but a great place to put your keys. I'm gonna open this bottom one next. Ooh, some things. Okay, so in here I've got a badge. I've got a, what I believe to be an iron-on patch, which is very cool. And Peter Parker's press pass. So it's his Daily Bugle press card. Very appropriate for a media kit, obviously. It's also a box in here. Very, uh, quite a weighty box. It's like one of those magnetized front clippy ones with a spider logo on the top. Opening it up, I think it's a USB. It's like a, a clear glass USB with an etched spider inside and Marvel Spider-Man on the top. It's a USB! Um, cool, I don't know if there's anything on there. I'll uh, plug it into the computer and have a look later. If there was something exciting on there, I will mention it in the comments below. <laughs> That's it for the front pocket. Well, let's head into the main pocket. There's a bit of stuff in here, so bear with me while I get this out. Okay, first of all, a coffee bean since 1962 printed bag with something inside it. So the bag was some photographs. So we've got uh, Peter Parker and his aunt, most likely. Uh, some pictures of New York, some black and white pictures of New York with a little post-it note reminder to download the media assets. Very cute. Wow, that's exciting to see those characters uh, in these photos, or what we you know, what I assume to be those characters. I won't make too many assumptions. Really setting the scene for the mood of this game right now. Okay, we've also got a New York subway guide, April 2018, with what looks to be some numbers on the back. I think it's just a legitimate uh, New York subway guide. That's really cool. And then some artwork. Okay, next up is a poster tube with the Spider-Man logo on the top and the Spider-Man motif on the front. Let's open her up. Oh wow, that's so pretty. It's this on one side, Spider-Man on the other. So on the other side it says, Rhino Boss Fight, number 960 out of a thousand. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. Look how sick that artwork is. And this, I know that sometimes I nerd out too much about the paper stock that's get, that gets used in press kits because I used to be a graphic designer and I get really excited. So it's like a really nice matte paper stock. That was a beautiful frame, like stunning. Okay, next up is a piece of sketch paper, like some grid mass paper, like it's been ripped it out of a book, um, even complete with a ripped edge. I love that attention to detail. And on one side is a whole bunch of Spider-Man concept art, it looks like, concept drawings um, for the logo or for the motif. Um, and then a, it's a funny picture of Deadpool crossed out, which is quite good. And then we've got some drawings, just some like sketches on the other side. It's so cool. I wonder if this is really a picture from someone's notebook trying to develop this logo. That's so cool if it is. An issue of the Daily Bugle, it looks like, New York's finest daily paper, special edition, jailbreak, raft leaks. Um, wow, it's like a legit newspaper, and on the back is obviously an ad for Spider-Man. 
Wow, okay, so inside, um, or well, the main headline story is a City Hysterical as Supermax Prison Short Circuits. Fearsome, awesome, freed. We've got Electro, Rhino, Vulture, and Scorpion. I guess that's a bit of an insight into who the villains are in this uh, game. Stopped in its tracks, your commute is the real victim of the subway battle. <laughs> Spidey squashed, costume crime fighter missing in action. An ad for Oscorp. Fisk to NYC, I'm the one who kept order. Incarcerated billionaire's prediction comes true. The devil in Lee, a revered philanthropist revealed as the leader of the demon gang. The raft in from the start, warning signs ignored during prison's early days and failure to launch fumbling city officials bungle mayor's agenda. Mercy me mercenaries, the private force is our only hope. The demons in detail, new info on masked gang. That's a bugle exclusive. The news is a bit uh, glum in this newspaper. White Hot Spidey, Spider-Man debut smoke and new suit. There we go, that's exciting. Greatest hits on the city, a look back on NYC's top five criminal catastrophes. <laughs> you got Shocker, Scorpion, Volta, Rhino and Electro again there. And then Magnificent Minds, Midtown High School proves its students are brilliant bot makers. And that's written by Mary Jane. And then on this last page here you've got some, some competitions and some puzzles and just some general cool newspaper things, some daily horoscopes. Um, which is pretty cool. I am a Virgo. I mean, just once again, the level of like detail and work that's gone into preparing something like this for a press kit is just... The designers must just have such a fun time working on this stuff. That's, that's all I can say. All right, there's still more, you guys. A map? Oh, I love a good map in a press kit. I'm a huge fan of maps in general and game maps specifically, just I just love them. This looks to be a relatively accurate representation of New York, though. From what I can tell. I've not been there, but it looks pretty realistic to me. Uh, Devil's Breath. Oh, nice. Look at this. Wow, that's really cool. What a cool print that would make as well. Like, that would look really badass framed as well. And then, last but most certainly not least, uh, what looks to be a comic book. So, it's a special limited edition 960 of a thousand Spider Man comic. Here's Spidey at his fighting best. PS4 exclusive with VIP media kit edition. I kind of don't really want to take this out of its plastic. Like, is that weird? Like, I don't even collect comics regularly, but I don't know. I can't decide if I want to take that one out of its plastic or not, or if I want to keep it in there. Um, let me know below. If you came here to see this comic, or if you're really interested in seeing this comic, comment below and I will make a separate video flipping through this comic if you do want to see it, because that would be pretty cool. Alright guys, well that is everything that came in the Spider-Man PS4 press kit due to come out. The game's due to come out on September 7th, that's this week. I'm so excited for everyone to finally get their hands on this and to let you guys know what I'm thinking of it. Stay tuned to uh, all my Hello Miss Potter channels if you want to hear my thoughts and otherwise I will see you in the next video.